Hey cellists, I'm Mia and today I'd like to talk to you about Yo-Yo Ma. So something that many of you might not know is that Yo-Yo Ma almost didn't have a career as the world's most famous cello player. When he was younger, he had back surgery to correct scoliosis and after his surgery he was in an upper body cast for six months. So Yo-Yo Ma knows something about how important it is to take care of your back so that you can have a long career as a cello player. You can see in some of these pictures of Yo-Yo Ma just how incredibly relaxed he is when he plays. You'll notice a few things in these pictures that I think are really important for cellists who are trying to work on tension issues in their playing to achieve big and effortless sound. So one of the things that you'll see in these pictures of Yo-Yo Ma is that he looks like he's reclining in a lazy boy chair. Like he's literally lounging in his chair. And the other thing you're gonna notice in these pictures is that his head is up towards the sky. So in my studio, and even in the professional world of cellists, I see that the majority of cellists are often bending over their cellos with their heads down and their faces scrunched up in perturbed concentration. I'm gonna show you that right now. So what I often see cellists doing is hunching over their cellos like this, with their heads down, their shoulders up, just like this. And they kind of look like this picture of Rostropovich. So here's the thing, if you play like this all the time, or even most of the time, the tension in your body is going to be so great that you're basically asking for injury. When you're playing, your arms and your body need space from your cello. Your lungs need space to breathe. Your neck needs to be able to move. And most importantly, your ears need to be up and listening to the sound that's being created in the room as you're playing. So what can you do if you suspect that you're a cellist that hunches over your cello as you play? Well, for every cellist, the solution is going to be different. But here's a few experiments that I'd like you to try to get your upper body to relax and roll back. So the first thing you can do is that if you're playing with a music stand and your music stand is below eye level, that automatically brings your neck down towards the stand and you're automatically gonna be in this scrunched position as you play if you're looking down at your stand. So the first thing to do if you're using sheet music when you play is to make sure that your stand is elevated to at least your eye level. So you're looking towards your music or maybe even a little bit up to encourage your head to kind of relax backwards. Another thing that you can do is to pick a point in front of you when you're playing in front and just above uh, your eye level to focus on when you're practicing. So you'll want to choose something that's just kind of above you, maybe an exit sign in a room or a picture. So when you're playing, you're kind of looking up towards that thing instead of looking down towards your cello. You can also experiment with throwing your head all the way back. You'll see a number of cellists, Yo-Yo Ma especially, Jacqueline Dupre and others, who just throw their heads back when they play. And that gives them lots of space in their upper body and encourages their next neck to relax. The other thing you can do is to move your head back and forth while you play. So say you're just playing scales. Try shifting your head back and forth while you play to encourage your neck to be limber. If you notice that your cello is really close to your neck when you play and therefore is getting in the way, like some cellos have it really, really close, the fingerboard, move your end pin to the right, give your spell itself a little bit more space here, move your neck back and forth to make sure that you have lots of space to play. And the last thing you can do is ask your luthier to install a posture peg. So you'll see on my cello, I have a tiny little peg here and that encourages your neck to stay upright as opposed to moving away from the cello like this and then encouraging your neck to kind of crank in one direction. You want to be able to have a nice upright head that you can move back and forth like this. And the last thing that
that you can try is leaning back from your cello as you play just to see how this feels. So really, just like we saw Yo Yama do, recline in your chair and see how this feels. You might notice you have more of a feeling of space in your body and you're more able to get a beautiful sound as you're able to kind of sink in to the cello. So try giving these methods a try and let me know what you think in the comments and how they work for you. If you'd like to learn more about playing the cello with more focus, freedom, and flexibility, then head to celloyoga.ca slash training to grab a free training with me. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.